cold coffee really sucks, almost as much as Mondays suck. So when I heard about a new gadget designed to keep your hot beverage at the optimum drinking temperature for hours, I knew I had to give it a try. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I often have to be up hours before the sun, so I really need that coffee kick to get me going in the morning. I heard about the Ember Travel Mug and what it's designed to do is to hold your coffee or tea or your hot chocolate, whatever you want, at the perfect drinking temperature so you can enjoy it even if it's hours later. Don't think of Ember as a heating mug. Instead, it's actually built for cooling and holding temperature. I initially thought it was gonna keep my coffee at stovetop temperature until I was ready to drink it, but not so. The Ember mug is designed to let your beverage cool to a drinkable temperature you select and then keep it there. The Ember Travel Mug uses multiple temperature sensors, a rapid cooling system, a microprocessor controlled heating system, and temperature presets to easily let you dial into your perfect temperature. What does that mean? That's up to you. You can have it cool your coffee or tea to anywhere from 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius up to 62 and a half degrees Celsius. The logo on the front of the Ember mug here hides a power button. Essentially, you just touch it and it'll give you information about what's going on with the mug. You can pair it with the companion Ember app, which allows you to control the temperature and see what's going on with the mug right from your smartphone. Setting up the mug for the first time is easy. You'll download the free Ember app, then follow the instructions. Essentially, you pair the mug to your phone by pressing and holding the Ember logo until you see the word pair. Mine was connected about two seconds later, then you can choose a name for your mug to personalize it. When you're ready to transport your beverage, pour it in and press the Ember power button. The mug is going to remember the last preset temperature you had, or you can adjust it in the app or by dialing in the temperature using the temperature control ring on the bottom of the mug. The built-in battery on the Ember Travel Mug is said to keep your beverage warm for about two hours. And in my personal experience, I found that was pretty accurate. Now, Ember says a lot of things can affect the battery life. Depends on a number of external factors, such as external temperature, the liquid temperature when you pour it, the speed you're going to drink it at, the set temperature, and whether the lid is on or off. And indeed, that's really true because I found with the lid off, my beverage definitely cooled much quicker. With the lid closed, it would hold my temperature for about two hours until the battery started to die. With the lid open, I found the drink cooled much more than I liked, and I tested this against my current travel mug, filling both with coffee from the pot. After about two hours with both lids open, I felt as though the coffee in the regular mug was significantly hotter. Now that was just my perception, so I ran temperature measurement tests too. I poured boiling water into each mug and sealed them both. Then I measured the temperature after 30 minutes, 60, 90 minutes, and two hours. It wasn't my imagination. At each interval, the regular travel mug's drink temperature was definitely hotter by about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Head over to the blog to see more details about the temperature and the measurements. I guess this shouldn't be surprising since the Ember mug is designed to cool to a drinkable temperature, not necessarily to keep drinks hot. The Ember mug will hold your temperature for about two hours. What are you supposed to do if you want it warm for longer? The answer is down below. One way to keep your drink at optimum temperature for longer is to use the included charging coaster that comes with the Ember travel mug. By keeping it on the coaster and the coaster plugged into AC power, you can keep your drink at its optimum temperature pretty much all day. It's worth pointing out though, there's a two hour auto shutoff feature. So if you don't interact with the mug in some way, it's gonna turn it off and let it cool right down. Because this device is connected, you can even get alerts to your smartwatch or your phone when your beverage is at its optimum drinking temperature. One big complaint people have about travel mugs is that the lids usually aren't very good. I've had many a damp car seat and a wet lunch bag to prove it. Now the Ember travel mug comes with a 360 degree lid that seals really well. So the 360 degree thing basically means you can drink from any side or any angle, but the seal on it is really good. I've got this full of hot beverage and tell me you'd try this with your average travel mug. If you like piping hot coffee, I'm afraid this mug is not for you. As I said before, the idea behind the mug is that it cools and holds temperature, and the top end heat level, 62 and a half degrees Celsius or 144 degrees Fahrenheit, isn't what I'd call piping hot. It's drinkable. Whether or not you should get this mug depends on the type of coffee drinker you are. If you're the kind of person who wants to drink their beverage piping hot, this is probably not for you. On the other hand, if you'll only drink your drink once it's cooled to an acceptable temperature, the Ember mug might help you get there. 
Now it's not cheap, it sells for about $149, both from Starbucks and from Ember's website. If you want to read more about it, there's a full blog online at techgadgetscanada.com. Head over there and check it out and ask me any questions you might have. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, at Erin L Y Y C. Thanks to its insulated design and built-in battery. Oh, I was so close. Travel mug has what it's called. A big complaint with travel mugs is that the lids don't feel, seal, seal, feel. A big complaint with travel mug. <coughs> Jeez. <laughs>